Good morning and welcome back to Breakfast Television. Right now we are at Drone Delivery Canada and we are going to watch a drone take off right now. Um, this innovative technology is being used um, to help people now during this time more than ever. I have the president and CEO of Drone Delivery Canada, Mike Zara, with me this morning. Mike, tell me a little bit about what you guys do. Good morning. So we are a drone logistics company. Uh, so we offer a a system of products, drones, and automated depots that we fly between, and we sell it as a managed service, and we move cargo with our drones. So this drone you were saying before is, is a tiny one. You guys have drones as big as, like, helicopter size that lift up to how many pounds? So our largest one is the Condor. It will take a payload of 180 kilograms, which is 400 pounds, wow. for 200 kilometers. Wow, that's incredible. And how is this being used now? I mean, to help people, I, I can see how this would be perfect to eliminate a human contact, right? Yeah, given the pandemic that's going on, drones are a perfect use case for limiting person-to-person -person contact. So we have a lot of interest from First Nations communities, from healthcare, and from the federal government to use drones to be able to manage the pandemic. And so what has the response been like? You're saying First Nations, a lot of a lot of people don't have access to the kind of health care that is necessary, especially right now. Um, so what has the response been like to receive assistance and, and what is being delivered exactly? So the problem with First Nations communities is they are uh, disproportionately greater affected by a pandemic because they really have poor health care infrastructure. They often have greater underlying health care issues. So a lot of the communities are self-isolating, but they need to keep their supply chain open. So as a result, they see and the government sees drones being used for deliveries and actually being able to limit person-to-person -person contact. So we can move medical supplies, we can move testing kits for coronavirus, we can move e-commerce, mail, really anything. Wow, and you guys have a control center um, because the, most drones, well, the ones that I've seen anyway, are operated with a little kind of remote control, but this is a whole other level of technology, right? This is a totally <laughs> different magnitude, yes. This is a very commercial operation. And uh, we do have an operations control center. It's very NASA-like. The system runs unmanned automatically, wow. but we monitor with human beings and, and manage the system from our control center centrally for projects globally, really. And what's the, the farthest that one of these drones could kind of go and, and fly for to make these so the drop offs? The smallest one that's flying behind us, yeah. Yeah, you can hear, <laughs> is the Sparrow, and it's 30 kilometers. And the largest one, the Condor, will actually go 200 kilometers. Wow, that's incredible. For, for you to kind of see this come to fruition and be used in this way, um, like how more people should be doing this right now, right? Well, I mean, it's very nascent industry, so it's still starting. We're very much the leader globally in this industry, so mm -hmm. we're not just building the business, we're building the whole industry. Uh, so we're very, very excited in where we are and developing the technology. Uh, commercial industrial applications, but also a lot of social causes like First Nations, the pandemic, uh, emergency response, humanitarian relief as well. And one of the things that we were talking about earlier, which I thought was really cool, is that different drones do kind of different kinds of drop-offs, is what you were saying. And right about now, however um, high kind of a drone can get, you guys are literally measuring the way you can drop boxes off, where right? it doesn't even have to land. It's just like dropping off packages, like a stork. <laughs> That's right. So we typically fly from a depot to depot, but in some cases the destination does not have any infrastructure, like it could be somebody's home or a medical application or an emergency application, in which case we can fly, hover, drop the cargo and fly back. That's amazing. And, and in terms of impact too, you guys have even weighed that. Quite let, no pun intended, but of, of what you can drop off, um, drop to the ground essentially without breaking or, or shattering because you would be carrying essential um, materials like vials and things like that. Absolutely. Oh, we actually did a project with the defibrillator. So you'll see in the future for uh, rural environments where an ambulance could take a long time to get to somebody who's having a cardiac arrest, we can send a drone with an automatic defibrillator, drop it, and somebody could administer that to the person having a heart attack. So a lot of great applications. Wow. Thank you so much for doing what you guys do, especially right now, to help the, the community and people. Um, where can people find you? You can look for us at DroneDeliveryCanada.com or under that name on any of the social media. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mike, for having us this morning. Uh, we're going to watch this guy take off the rest of the morning. Um, more BT when we come back right after the break.